Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are going to create a dragonfly card using a stamp set from Pink and Main. It's called Daisy Bugs. Super pretty stamp set. This is actually a new release over at the Pink and Main shop. I did pick up the coordinating dies to go with it. And while I was there, I did a little extra shopping. I picked up the stencil. It's the Daisy stencil and it's so dainty and pretty. I just love it. And then um, let me take it out of the package. I wanted to share with you what it looks like. You can see the swirlies and the daisies. It's just so pretty and dainty. So I picked up this. Um, um, and I also picked up another goodie that I get to share with you. We're kind of doing a review today. Um, before we do that, I do want to spray my stencil with the pixie spray and we'll let that set. But Pink and Main had just came out with some brand new, a brand new blender brush. Now, I saw the review on this and I thought, I got to give it a try. The price point on this was great. And the neat thing is it has its own little storage container. This is the Ergonomic Blender Brush by Pink and Main. Um, it was only 10 bucks, And I like that it had its own little storage container. Um, and Michelle, the owner of Pink and Main, said you only need one brush because it cleans off. Um beautifully and then you can just reapply a different color of ink. Um, I like the fact that it sits flat on your desk. I love that. I don't know why. And then it sits flat on your cardstock. Um, so it's surface to surface um, with a normal blending brush. And I have lots guys. <clears throat> this is my newest set. <laughs> it kind of went blender brush crazy. I, I picked up a set from um, but you can see the dome shape on our, our regular typical blending brushes. It doesn't have as much surface area as this um, ergonomic brush does. But I had picked one up from Honeybee Stamps. I picked one up from Simon Says Stamps. I got the colored ones from Simon Says Stamp along with a little caddy. Um, but then Pinky Bang came out with this one and so I thought I'd give it a try. Not that I need any more brushes, but I just it, it kind of just intrigued me that you only need one brush for all these different inks. So I'm going to create my, my panel for my background and we're going to do some ink blending with this brand new brush. Before we start, I am going to die cut out a circle with some Gina K Masking Magic. Um, just using my circle dies, we're going to cut out the small circle that will sit inside of our panel. We're going to mask off um, a portion of our back panel. Okay. We're just going to set everything aside and remove the release paper off of our masking paper and then this is going to go in the center and then I already added pixie spray to my stencil we can go ahead and add that wouldn't it be nice to have just one blending brush rather than lots <laughs> so I thought I'd give it a try okay let me know oh and I want to let you guys know I picked this up this pinky man didn't ask me to do that um do a review on their blending brushes or anything I just wanted to try because it sent it I love the way it just has its own storage container. I love the way it was paper, um, brush to paper contact. I like that. Um, and I like the fact that there's more surface area. Okay. Um, br brought in my craft mat here. Now let's do some ink blending. I have three different colors. I'm going to tape this down so it doesn't shift. But the colors that I'm using are shabby shutters. We're going to use tumble glass and then we're going to use um, uh, what's that third one? Pumice stone, a nice warm gray ink, um, kind of an odd color combination, but I think, um, I wanted that warm gray behind my, um, masking paper. And then I wanted to blend out with the green and the blue. So starting off with the pumice stone, I, you know what? The handle is very comfortable guys. It's, it's fits in the palm of your hand. Really neat. Okay. And it blends beautifully. The brushed bristles alone are very soft. And the coverage that it gives is um, nice. I really like this. Okay. I'm just blending just a hair outside of that um, masking paper. And then, so once I have a little shadow there, all you have to do is take your stamp chamois and then wipe it off. And then you're ready for the next color. I thought that was so neat. You can see here I'm wiping my brush on some white cardstock and there's no ink that transferred. So your stanchamy just cleans it beautifully. 
Okay, next we're going to go in with Shabby Shutters, add a little ink. I'm going to tap it off. Starting from the center of my circle, I'm just kind of going to create a circle, radiating kind of out a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to wipe it off. And it wipes off beautifully. There's no transfer of ink after you just very lightly wipe it off your chamois. I think this would be, had I known there was a product like this out, I wouldn't have bought my blending brushes from Honeybee Stamps. I wouldn't have bought my blending brushes from Simon's. I would have saved a lot of money, basically. <laughs> okay, next up, we are gonna add our tumble glass along the edges of our panel. I kind of want to darken those edges. Um, on the outside and kind of blend the two, the green and the blue together. And you know what guys, this is a pretty neat brush. I think it it's $10, like I said, but I think you will love it. I like it. Now I'm only using my oxide inks. I don't know how well it will ink with my hybrid ink pads, or I don't know how well it will work with my distress ink pads, but for today's project, I think it worked amazing gonna go over the center just a little bit more add a little bit of that gray to the corners and it's effort to you there's no pressure needed it's just light and it cleans off beautifully and you know when you wipe it on your stamp chamois it's weird but your bristles seem dry how about I don't know maybe it's just me but super neat and it it cleans your brushes so well I bought two of them. I guess I only needed one, but oh, this little storage container, it, it slides in, but then it clicks. You push it down to lock it in. See, if you don't lock it in, it'll slide out, but you just slide it in and it'll click. That way it just stays put in there. And I like that it's black because it kind of coordinates with it. anybody's desk. But I think this is pretty neat stuff. <laughs> I thought I'd share it. It's Try It Out Tuesday, right? So I thought I'd try it out with you guys. Let me know if you have one and if you love it because I'm finding I'm getting ready to get rid of the rest of my bloody brushes <laughs> and replacing them. Okay, let's work on our background. We're going to remove our circle mask and we should have a, a nice circle area that's kind of radiating. I think the, the daisy stencil is just gorgeous. Super pretty. Okay, now we're going to stamp our dragonflies. There's ladybugs in here and daisies, but I just wanted to keep my cards simple today. So I want to stamp both of the dragonflies. I'm actually going to use the cardstock that I used as my, um, my extra ink paper. <laughs> no use of putting that to waste. I'm going to add, um, stamp the small one with um, memento ink and I'll stamp the large one right next to it. And then I want to do some coloring. I did leave the coloring in and it was very easy. Just sped it up a bit. But just those two images are what we're going to use today. We'll put this back and zoom in and then we'll get to coloring. Um, what I'm going to start off doing is coloring the large wings of my dragonfly with my BG colors um, and then the body of the small one with my BGs. I'm using BG 11, BG 15, and then BG 18 is my darkest shade. And we're just going to do a little bit of shading over those wings and the body of the small one. Our mid-tone, we're going to add our BG 15. Very easy coloring. We're going to go ahead and blend everything together with our lightest shade, which is the BG 11. And then our wings are done here. Now we're going to do the opposite with some blues. So I have BG41. We're going to color in our small dragonfly's wings here. And then the body of our large dragonfly. We're going to use our darkest blue and add a little bit of shading. These two are similar color in lids, so I had to test the colors on my, my paper there. But next we're going to add the BG34. Actually, it's B34, sorry. And then we're going to do our mid-tone. Mid-tone is B32, and then we'll blend it all together back again with B41, and then our dragonflies are all done. Very simple. Kind of use the same basic colors as our background, minus the grays. Okay, I'm going to take the coordinating dies. I did pick those up. Um, 
and we'll just die cut out our little dragonflies. We'll just line them up and tape them down. And then while we're die cutting, I'm also going to die cut out a circle from the same cardstock. Now the circle size is one size smaller than the circle that we die cut out with our masking paper. So we're going to have a little bit of a white edge. This is actually the smallest circle in my die set. Once everything's die cut, we're going to stamp our sentiment. Um, in the, the stamp set, the Daisy Bugs stamp set, there is a sentiment um, that says hello, and then um, there's a secondary sentiment that says sweet friend. So I'm going to use both of those today. Just kind of figuring out my placement first. We'll grab our sentiment, and I'm going to use my Versafine Onyx Black ink to stamp my sentiment in the center of that circle. We'll just ink up our hello, stamp that, and then I did stamp Sweet Friend on another piece of white cardstock and then just trimmed it down by blocking it off. We'll pop that one up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add a foam adhesive behind our background panel, and then this is going to go on an A2 size card base. Just remove the release paper and place this in the center. The panel size that I used was four inches by five and a quarter, so you can see it leaves me a little bit of a white border on my card base. Next, we'll add foam adhesive behind our circle here and behind just the body of our dragonflies, and then also behind our sweet friend. Now, I offset sweet friend, and then we're going to go ahead and add a butterfly to the left and to the right here. And then we're going to add some sparkle to those wings. I think we're going to use our Ranger Stickles. This is probably my new favorite. <laughs> Usually I like the white blizzard, but this is such a pretty color. It's the Diamond Stickles. I want to add it just to the wings and also to the bodies too. And then um, we're going to bring in some gems. The gems that I'm using are from Nouveau. And we're going to add a uh, large gem to the head of our dragonfly and then a smaller one to the body and then we're going to add just a few around our sentiment area add a little extra sparkle a little subtle sparkle okay after i had my gems adhered i didn't like where my sweet friend was i didn't like how it was offset so i'm removing carefully because i have those um the glitter glue still wet i'm gonna center my sweet friend underneath my hello and then i'm gonna go ahead and replace my large dragonfly right next to it and i think this just looked a little bit more balanced for me i'm gonna go ahead and add um a I lost one of my gems that was on my dragonfly, so we'll replace that. And then I'm going to add a, just a couple more little gems. I just placed my gems um, on the body of the butterfly um, with, the stickle, with the stickles. And then that completes my cards for today, guys. I did leave the clean up in. It's at the end of the video. Um, it's right after the close-ups. But I'm loving this pink and mains ergonomic blender brush guys um i'll leave a link down below to all the products that i use today i know that the pink and main shop um, are taking pre-orders for this um, they must have sold out and then they're taking pre-orders for february 20th but um the simon says stamp shop does have some in i'm not sure how many they have in or how long they'll last but this is a nice little handy tool i think you guys would love it um and I encourage you guys to give it a try. Um, I love the fact that, that, well, if you visit my blog, I listed all the facts why I like it. <laughs> but I wish you a fantastic day, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs>
<laughs> I wanted to share with you, I, I know I'm going to get questions, so um, this is probably just easier for me to share with you. This little caddy here I picked up at Walmart. It's new, and it holds my heat embossing tool perfectly. There's a, there's a center spot where it just slides in there, and then it rotates, and it was pretty inexpensive. I picked it up at Walmart in the makeup aisle where um, the makeup bags are, and so... Um, that's where I got that little caddy. It actually is working out really great. I am. I might end up getting another one and replacing that gray one that I have on my desk. Um, but so far, I'm liking it. It's just made of plastic. And then I've also gotten questions about my stamp storage and my die storage. Now, I'm for the new year. I want to do redo my um, storage system. And I picked up some new little bins from Spellbinders, and I also picked up some storage um, pouches and some file tabs from Spellbinders. Um, I'll link them down below in case you guys want to check it out. But I'm actually going to do a tutorial on how I've been storing them. Um, it's been working out great for me, and I like that there's a little file tab on the top of them. It's easier to thumb through. And then um, the plastic sheets are very heavy, dirty, durable, and they fit an Avery L pocket beautifully. I do end up trimming off the top portion of my Avery L pockets. My magnets, I get the same place. I get those from Amazon. And then they're self-adhesive, so I just stick it behind my little file tab. And then I'll trim off the top of my Avery L um, pocket folder, slide that in there, and then Sometimes I'll put a piece, um, if my dies, I don't add white cardstock to, stamps I do, um, especially if there's coordinating dies, just because it looks cleaner. But um, I'm planning on a tutorial later on with that, but I just thought I'd share that with you before I go. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.